My sister always wakes up at 3 a.m. screaming and now I know why. My sister has always been a heavy sleeper ever since we were kids. That girl could literally sleep through an earthquake if she could and believe me I've seen it happen with my own two eyes. However, ever since we started high school, she's been acting strange. Two weeks in and every morning I see her always with bags under her eyes with a look of despair on her face. Hey Justin, could you make me some coffee please? She always begged in a raspy voice due from her constant screeching. I always felt horrible for her because she always looked exhausted and miserable. I made sure I kept an eye on her every day so that she wouldn't pass out like a narcoleptic every 10 seconds. We met up after 5th period and I started to say what's been on my mind. Lily, what's been keeping you up at night? You always get your rest. I asked, worrying deeply for my poor sister. Jay, you wouldn't believe me if... I told you, just forget about it alright. The tone in her voice was hopeless. She looked so saddened by everything that happened to her. I couldn't let her just give up, that's when I came up with an amazing idea. What if we catch you in the act? Huh. Lily stared at me with a confused look waiting for men to explain. What I mean is that we set up a camera in your room and we see what's making you scream so much at night. I spoke. In an excited tone, I could finally see what's been bugging her so much. Justin please just let it go. I'm Finn Lily couldn't even finish that sentence as she started falling towards the pavement, thank god I caught her before she hit the ground. I took her home and began to set up the cameras for the night. Around 10 pm, Lily tells me that she's ready to go to bed, I take the equipment into her room. I set a camera facing her bed and then the other one facing the window from the side of her door. If you feel like you're in trouble, yell for me okay? I reassured Lily. Okay, I promise brother. She said with a light smile. Justin. Yeah. Thanks, for this I mean. Lily said to me with a bit of relief in her voice. Not a problem sis. I walked back beside her bed and gave her a strong hug before heading back to my room and falling asleep. As expected, around 3 am I heard Lily screaming shrilly as usual. J. Justin. I heard her scream from the top of her lungs. Hold on. I grabbed my baseball bat and dashed to her room as quick as I could, I reached Lily's room down the hall, swung her door opened and readied my stance. What's wrong Lil all I saw when I entered was Lily bleeding from her nose and staring blankly at her window while pointing at it with a shaky finger. I ran over to her bed and started shaking her, Lily. Lily. Snap out of it. I screamed at her, begging for her to get out of her trance. H he's coming in soon. Lily said to me in her raspy tone and in a split second she fell back into her pillows. Lily. I stared at her nervously, worrying about what she just said. Who was he and what does he want with my sister? Just then my parents busted into. The room. Is your sister okay? We heard her screaming your name. My mom asked alarmingly. Mom. All of our eyes turned over to Lily, who flashed a bloody nose and huge tears in her eyes. Lily. Baby are you okay? My father asked in extreme distress. Yeah dad, I'm okay now. Lily calmly informed him. What happened to your nose, kid? At that moment Lily looked at me and I was just as curious as dad. I felt at fault for not being quicker so I wanted to know exactly what went on so that I could be quicker. Lily, still sobbing gave out an answer that didn't sit right with me. Even to this the day the answer sent chills down my spine because I knew deep down she was hiding something. I just had a bad dream is all. It got too intense, I, I am really sorry for waking you guys up again. Lily said to my parents, trying to look calm, but I knew damn well that she was lying and I wanted to find out what she knew. I took the cameras out her room and started to investigate the footage on my laptop. I fast forwarded the footage to about 2.40 am and watched the screen for anything suspicious. Around 2.53 am in the footage, I saw something that made me unsettled, there was a small object in Lily's window. It kept growing bigger and more static looking until it was exactly 3 am when Lily started screaming for me. I rewound to the point where the thing in the window started to appear. When I paused on that point, I zoomed in on the thing and goosebumps began to run wild on me. The shadow looked like a regular outline of a human. Only that was it, 
there was no other features on it. No eyes, anything, just an outline of a person. It was like one of those crosswalk sign. Stick man, but this figure was more detailed and defined due to it looking like a person. Its head, however, looked like a glitch on my screen and as it grew bigger it looked more distorted along with its hands. I saw Lily wake up exactly at 3 am again, and noticed her take a quick glance at the thing in the window as if she was checking and hoping that it wasn't there. I knew that she was hiding something from me about whatever this thing was, so I decided to take a screenshot and save it on my phone the morning. I wondered why she didn't tell me about this thing earlier, but I got my answer soon enough. Are mom and dad gone for work already? I asked Lily. While unlocking my phone, I didn't want them around so that they could question me about anything I was about to say to her. No, why? Are you bringing someone over so you can get a quickie in before school you sly dog? Lily teased me with her raspy voice from the other night. Okay number one, no, because I wouldn't ever get any action without you snitching, and number two, what is this? I showed her the screenshot I took from the tape, and Lily's eyes widened due to sheer panic over what I just showed and asked her. Wait. You can see him too. Lily almost flew out of her seat over what I just said, her eyes gave a look of sheer panic at me and I was utterly confused. Yeah I can. See it, how could I not? It's hella noticeable on the screen. I point to the vivid black spot on the picture and Lily looked up at me with wide, panicked eyes. Justin, he's only lets you see him when he wants to. Her eyes became less widened, Lily started to cry and put her head in hands and began mutter a single phrase. This is bad. This is bad, this is so bad. Lily repeated over and over as if she was in a trance. Lily, snap out of it. I screamed at her. I've never seen Lily so terrified before in my life, so when I got this reaction from her, it freaked me out a little. I rose Lily up from the chair and grabbed both of her shoulders. Okay so what is this? Thing exactly if it's such a problem. Also, how long have you been hiding this from me? I didn't know how far in the dark I was at this point so I needed all the info I could get about paranormal shit that's been plaguing my sister. Justin I I am sorry. I didn't want you to get involved at all because it threatened that it would come after. Anyone I talked about it to, and I didn't want you or mom and dad in that kind of trouble. Lily's tone was more serious than I was used to hearing, that set me off that I was dealing with some serious shit so I listened to what she had to say. So about that thing, I don't know what it is, but I do know that it's part of the shadow people. Lily started to explain. Shadow people? Are you serious? I tried my best not to doubt Lily, but the idea sounded ridiculous. I'm not kidding Justin, this is serious. Lily screamed at me with intense frustration. That's also another reason I didn't want to tell you. You would just doubt me anyway. Her voice grew soft again. No that's not. It Lily, it just sounds out there you know. I mean what if it's just some creepy bastard trying to stalk you. I reasoned, trying to be rational. Jay. I swear on our parents' lives that what I'm saying is true, the thing even spoke to me for Christ's sake. I looked at her with sheer confusion wait, it spoke to you? What do you mean it? Spoke to you. It speaks to me every night it comes. Go check the video again if you don't believe me. Having doubt still in my head, I went up to get my laptop from my room and brought it back downstairs to show her. As soon as I walked into my room, I felt this weird pressure, it was like the air got heavier and my head was pulsating. I heard this low hum in my ears that was, calling to me. I quickly took my laptop off the desk and exited my room. Walking down the steps I couldn't shake this feeling like, someone was watching me. Justin, you okay? Lily's sudden question snapped me out of my paranoia. Huh? Oh yeah I'm fine. I didn't even realize I walked to the table. Because of that weird hum my mind was replaying over and over in my head. I opened up the video and then turned the computer towards Lily. Skip ahead, I'll tell you when I hear it. She said confidently. Wait, how will you hear it if I randomly skip ahead? I questioned Lily's credibility at this point trust me I'll hear it for sure. Okay. If you say so. I skipped ahead to when the clock on the footage read 2.40 am. Is this good? Yeah that'll do just fine. 
Lily was way too confident because I watched this video about two times with full volume in my headphones and I never heard any type of voice or sound besides her screams. The time hit 2.45 am and Lily jumped up and looked at me with wide eyes. There. Right there, stop. I pressed my space button to stop the footage. Play it at like half speed Lily looked only at the screen when she said that, I was pretty worried at this point, but I did what she asked and set up the video to play at half speed. The video trailed on slowly boring me minute by minute, but Lily was staring hard at the screen as if she was in another trance. Lily are you okay? She didn't answer. Lily what the hell are you Lily shushed me. You don't hear that. Hear what? What am I supposed to hear? Lily glared at me with an irritated look. The fucking noise Jay. She snapped on me so quick that I didn't have a single moment to respond. I'm sorry, look I just need you to focus okay? Listen. Sure. I played it back to the 2.45 pm mark and let it play from there. I tried to focus at the screen and listen out for anything. I'm not hearing anything L. You have to focus Justin, don't think about anything but the screen. Lily said to me in an almost zen-like state. I closed my eyes and tried to focus deeply on hearing the sound. Out of nowhere I heard that low hum again, seriously, where the hell is that coming from? I started to get more irritated. Where is what coming from? Lily looked at me confused. That fucking humming, it's hurting my head. Lily looked at me with a serious look on her face. That's what I've been hearing all this time. Confused, I started to pay attention to the screen more closely. That low hum was coming from the video, it was like an Easter egg in video games that was very elusive. I kept playing the video up until Lily started screaming and the hum got louder and louder as the thing looked more jumbled on the screen. Do you know what it's saying? I looked to Lily as she was focusing in on the loud noise. Her eyes widened with fear at a sudden jump in the volume of the hum. What? What? Lily wasn't answering me, she just stood still with great fear in her eyes. Sis, what did you hear? I said to her feeling a bit uneasy now as she continued staring at the screen with that ominous look on her face. Lily come on this isn't cool man, what is happening in one swift motion Lily replayed the clip where the jump in the audio was and kept replaying it over and over and over again as if she was trying to confirm what she heard. After the seventh time replaying them, Lily turned to face me. So. I said with a slightly anxious tone in my voice. Lily's eyes still had that vacant stare as she looked at me, but they started to look depressed and hopeless as she started to speak. He says he's coming back tonight, and he says that he's going to take me. Lily started to cry, but didn't fully sob, she just looked at me with tears falling off of her face. I won't let that happen to you, you know that. I assured her. Justin. He said he said that you're not safe. He will kill you if you try to help me, do you understand? Lily's face was a mixture of pale white and red with a scared and concerned look, she didn't want my safety to be in jeopardy. Lily. I'd rather die if it means I can protect you. You're not just my sister, you're my best friend. I said to her confidently, of course I was afraid, but I didn't want her to know that. She needed me now more than ever, and I was willing to be her protection. You can count on me sis. I put my fist out for her to bump it. Justin, T. Thank you. Lily bumped my fist back with her own and looked up at me with tears in her eyes. I gave her a big hug to let her know that everything is okay and that I wasn't gonna let some stupid demonic stick figure take my sister away from me. Later on at school I conducted an experiment to see if I really am dealing with a demon or some otherworldly entity. I showed my friends the screenshot where I can see the black dot clearly, they didn't know or see what I was talking about. I tried to show it to my teachers too and none of them saw it at all. I guess it was true that I was dealing with something evil so I created another method for later on that night. I stopped by the local church around the corner from my house and asked the pastor for some bottles of blessed water. He created a few vials for me, but was curious on why I needed them. Just wanted to bless the house sir. I said with a sincere and serious tone in my voice. The priest gave me a little wooden rosary just for good luck. I put the wooden trinket in my back pocket for safekeeping. Are you sure you don't need any assistance with this blessing young man? The priest asked me, 
showing a tad bit of concern and worry in his face. I pondered it a bit and while the extra hands on deck would help greatly, I wouldn't want to drag an outsider into family matters. Boy would that come back to. Bite me in the ass. No thanks, Father Ear I said in a lost tone, waiting for him to answer with his name. Father Morgan, my son. He said, stretching his hand out to shake mine. Well Father Morgan I appreciate the offer, but I think I can handle this on my own. Thanks again though, I appreciate it. Anytime, my son. He began to write down something on a piece of paper from a small notepad. However if you find yourself in a bit of a bad spot, please don't hesitate to give me a call. He then ripped out the small paper from the notepad and handed it to me. I placed the note in my pocket and gave him a head nod as a sign of thanks. I made it back to my house 10 minutes later and got to work on setting up for tonight's main event. I was gonna need every single defense I could think of so first, I set my alarm to 2.50 am. This way I can get the drop on the bastard before he can do any real damage to Lily, then I took out the super soaker I had in my closet and poured the vials into the tank, if the bastard is a demon this will for sure at least hurt him. I put the wooden rosary underneath my pillow so that I didn't forget about it later on. After all that was said and done I went to Lily's room to talk to her before the night started. So how you holding up? She looked up at me with her eyes full of tears. Justin, I'm scared. I just want this to all stop you know. Her voice started to break. I don't want to die, I don't want to be taken away. I just want to sleep. Lily buried her head in my chest and I hugged her tightly. Don't worry Lily, I'll make sure I'll do everything that I can do to make sure that asshole won't take you. I promise. I got up from the bed. And turned on the camera to start recording for the night. Time passed as we both ate dinner and said goodnight to our parents. I did my night routine and then slipped on my pajamas, but not before I put the soaker by my door. I had to be ready to get up and rush into there, there wasn't gonna be a do-over nor were mistakes allowed. I had. One shot at this. I said a quick prayer to God, asking for the strength I needed to face this monster head on. After that, I climbed up into my bed and drifted off to sleep. It felt like I just closed my eyes for not that long, because I heard my alarm go off. And so it starts. I thought as I rose up quickly from my bed, taking the rosary. From underneath my pillow, and shoving it into my pocket. I grabbed my water gun from the corner by my door and grabbed my phone from my nightstand. The lock screen flashed to life, displaying a big 2.52 am on top of my background picture. Shoving my phone into my pajama pocket, I rushed over to my sister's door and stood outside of it quietly. I put my ear to the door and I heard Lily soft grunts as if she was rolling around in her bed. I looked at my phone and saw 2.55 am on the screen. Just five more minutes Justin, you got this. I tried to psyche myself up quietly as I could and put my ear on the door. The soft grunts became louder and I could hear Lily softly. Crying to herself begging and pleading in between her cries. Please, please leave me alone. Please. Her pleas getting louder with every second passing. I checked my phone one final time. 2.59 am finally. I said to myself in my head as I put my phone back into my pocket and rushed through the door. I held up the soaker in front of me. Get off of her you motherfu I screamed, but to my surprise there was no one inside. My sister was sleeping frantically though, shaking her head around violently as if she was getting possessed. Lily. I ran over to her, shaking her until she woke up. She looked at me with wide and frightened eyes. Justin. Behind you. I turned around. To see the demon behind me, staring at me with two white dots for eyes and shadow-like tentacles emerging from its sides. He lifted me up my shirt with one of them and tossed me into the door that was left open. Arg. I felt my head throbbing as my vision was blurred. I saw the demon lift up Lily by her shirt and opened up what seemed to be its mouth as he screeched into her face as she wailed and screamed. I snapped out of it, feeling an angry heat taking over my face. I raised up my soaker and took aim. Hey asshole. Over here. I yelled, trying to get his attention. It turned its head to me, flashing those white dots. I could hear my parents on the other side of the door, banging on it as hard as they could and trying to open, but sadly it wasn't possible. 
I heard them scream out. Justin. Lily. What's going on? My dad said trying to pry the door open. Just then the demon threw Lily back on her bed and started to shuffle towards me, and with one squeeze of the trigger, I let the bastard have a taste of my holy water. I unleashed the stream onto its face as it started to violently screech at me. I saw steam rising up from its skin and could see it also rotting away as it looked up at me. I took out the wooden rosary and began to chant. The power of Christ compels you demon. It raised its hands at me in pain and started to back up into Lily. It slipped a tentacle from its body and lifted her again by the shirt as if to take her hostage. I kept hearing my parents banging and kicking on the door, still screaming from the other side. Justin. Open the door, son. Please. My mom screamed frantically as she heard the demon hissing at me, as if it wanted me to put down my gun. It formed. Spike tips with its tentacles and kept looking at me with those haunting white dots for eyes. Lily then started to scream out at the both of us. Stop. Please stop. Don't hurt him, just take me. Lily frantically pleaded with the demon as it kept staring at my me. I looked at Lily, sis, what are you doing? And she silently cried as she looked at me with those teary blue eyes. It's okay, I'll be fine. She didn't break eye contact with me, in fact this is the most confident I heard her throughout this situation. You shouldn't have to die because of me, I'll be okay. I raised my soaker at the demon's head and locked on. But. I didn't get another chance to speak as it hissed at. Me and used one of the tentacles to try and stab me. I squeezed my trigger and let out the last bit of my water to hit it in the eye, making its skin deteriorate slightly as it stuck the tentacle in my shoulder and sent my body back to the wall by the camera, making it fall over. I got dazed again and my vision blurred as I saw the shadow. Take Lily and smash into the window with extreme force. Lily's screams drowned out as my parents finally got the door open. Justin. Justin. Wake up. I heard my dad said, shaking me to make sure I was okay. I shot up quickly and looked over at him and my mom. Where's Lily? I asked frantically scanning the room as I saw my mom run over to the window. I quickly joined her, still bleeding from my shoulder. Lily and the shadow demon were gone, not a trace of them was found. No footprints, no skin, no anything. Just a big crater where the window used to be. We gotta find he I fell back from the fatigue and shock my wound caused me. The last thing I saw was my parents trying to catch me. I woke up in the hospital with my parents asleep in chairs. I looked over at my wound and saw that it was morning outside the window. My parents started to slowly wake up and, and greet me. They told me about how the police would soon come in for questioning and how they would come back later to pick me up when I discharge. As they closed the door, I sat there in silence. Lily couldn't be gone just like that. There was no way that the shadow took her away without a clue, and I had to find out how to find them both. As I sat there alone in the room, I came up with a plan, but first I had to make a call to someone. Only one person could help me now, but there was no telling how much time I had left. Lily could be in trouble and I needed to find her before anything happens, hold on Lily, I'm coming to get you. I promise. I just hope I'm not too late. 